just want to do a little short video of my Nike Foam Posit collection. Okay, I got these from where did I get these from? I got these from SellYourSoul.com. Also, check out ZiplockFresh.com, Friday Nights, BigCartel.com, Go there. All right, I got these for two twenty, and this was a House of Hoops. They're still dead stock. I still haven't worn them at all. I like the translucent green bottom. I got these for a pretty good deal. And, you know, I felt these were decent. I got the breads. Traded for 2,000. What did I trade? I, told, I traded for 2,000 Cool Red 11s. And he gave me $100. So I said, man, this is a good deal. Because it was dead stock when I got it. Well, one time, as you can see, they still look pretty clean. And I got the old black foam pilots for 200 straight cash. At Sneak the Con of April, I believe. And a lot of people wanted this shoe. It was a good deal. Got these with the original box and receipt. I'm still looking for the Army one. So anybody has that in a size 9.5 to 10.5. I will buy them for you, whatever price you're asking. I got cough drops. I got these March 2011 from SneakerCon for $50. They were dead stock when I got them. I wore them a few times. I still look, they still are clean because I wore them after that, ever since I got them, I wore them five times. I got these Royal Blues the day of when the pewters have dropped in March. The same day, I got these instead of the pewters because I felt the pewters will always be there, and I was right. The pewters, I can still get them for retail, so I just picked up the Royal Blues because I needed another pair. I have the 2007 pair, but that's in my closet, and I wore these two times, and I don't plan to wear them anytime soon. I love this shoe. I feel it's one of the best colorways, and I will be making a video when I get the red one in. It's from SewYourSouls.com. Also, go there. Electric green foam pilots. Now, anybody that did not cop this shoe, I feel bad for you. Because this is a, a pretty nice shoe. And once they, they're going to be hard to find. Once the people stop wearing the shoe so much, it's just ridiculous how many times they wear the shoe. Mine's look dead stock, wore them inside only, took them off when I left school, had these two weeks before everybody got theirs, paid two forty seven for them. I felt it was a good shoe, but wish I had gotten a smaller size. This is size 11. I need a 10 and a half. I got some original eggplants. 2009 pair, original box. I got these from SneakerCon 2011. I traded these for... I got these in return for some OG... Flint 13s I had with original box. I felt this was a good deal because I only bought them for 120, which means I got the shoe for 140. I said, man, you can't go wrong. Came with original box and all. And I felt this is a decent shoe. Okay. Now, hold on. I got some pearls I'd like to show you. This is just some of the things I'm selling over here. Yeah, I got, I got some Countdown Package 14, some Countdown Package 5s that are pretty damn icy. I got them for a pretty good deal so hit me up I'll give you a good price look at this look at the clean netting I mean st who still has these but so clean netting you know decent 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 just gotta sell it cause I don't you know I don't mess with Jordans but I, I have the pearls also size 11 selling these on eBay right now I will add the link you know I wore these two times. Have to get rid of them and get a smaller size. They're pretty clean still. If they were my size, I wouldn't be selling them. I had bought them dead stock. I plan to get another pair. My collection is nice right now. I have a lot of things coming in. I have the red foams coming in. I have the electronic blues coming in. I have the red foam pilot pros coming in. The all red ones. Those those all red ones, the black tech, those jump offs I have coming in. Dead stock. Four hundred. I couldn't beat that. I also have those pine greens coming in by next week, so be on the lookout for a video. But basically, I moved the foam pods because I felt that 
Jordan stopped holding the value. You know, you wear them. They were not durable. And I felt that they were retroing way too many. They, they retro. What really pissed me off is when they retro the true blue threes in such a short sort of time span. I mean, you had the original true blues. Then you had the 2001 true blues. I also have those. I'll show you at the end of the video. And then they want a retro 2011 after you just had 2009, which so received. I don't see the point of retroing that shoe as many times as they did. I really don't see the purpose of why they did that. So that's why I don't, I don't, I don't really mess with Jordans too much. They retro way too many. And you, I, I had the original board ox. I could put a p couple of pictures up for you. I had the original board ox. I had, a, I had a lot of original Jordans, a lot, and I just had to get rid of them one by one. You don't believe me? Let me, let me just show you some of the, the, the some heat that I still have left. Let me show you some heat that I still have left. Now I have these oxies. My room's a mess. Some oxy 14s. Do not have the original box, but these are also for sale. The jump man is still intact. Let me see if you I don't know if you can see that, but it's still intact. I will be selling these. These are size 10. Also have dead stock compound package fives, which I'll be selling on eBay also. Not looking for much. I'm looking for about 150 for the compound package 14s. Looking for maybe about 200 but I am taking offers on the compound package fives. Need to get rid of them. And I have um also have true blue threes, which I will be selling shortly. Because I just can't mess with Jordans. They retro way too many, and it's just bothering me, the amount they retro. And I love the how Nike is increasing their price to 250 meaning that a lot of people won't be able to get them. So, that's it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think I need to do better. Also, go to SellYourSouls.com. Thank you.